back at it again with the baking videos, but this time I've got baking powder. No rice. Oh, and I managed to get eggs from Asda. That was nice. So, just currently whisking all this. I've got this ready. I've got this ready. No banana to add to it this time, but uh, just have to see what the other secret ingredient is. There we go. Now it's all mixed in together, ready to be spooned into here. I'm glad people are liking these baking videos. I'm like a less cool Florence Pugh. And in they go. Looking a bit more full this time, nice and runny. Hopefully they turn out quite nice. And then while they're cooking, I can start working on a secret topping. Okay, Google, set timer for 25 minutes. They are, boys. Not so secret ingredient. A hell load of cream eggs. I'm not entirely sure of the best ways to add these, and I guess I'm just gonna have to mash them and see. Um, probably means I'm gonna eat them even quicker than the last lot, though. Those last cakes, I think I ate within three days. That's the only problem with being in isolation. You just want to eat everything. Well, they're all smashed up, look a bit awful, um, but just have to see. May have accidentally eaten one already, too. Fun fact, every time I try and make these and set the timer and record it on here, as soon as it plays back it sets a second timer, so at least I'll definitely know when they're ready. Looks like they are actually rising, I guess that's what the baking powder was for. before adding toppings on, but since I'm using chocolate spread, if you add it now, it kind of melts a bit more, it's even better. Delicious cream egg cupcakes. So why don't mine look like that? And as usual, one of them is a bit of a failure, so let's get on first. I genuinely think they might be the best cakes I've made so far. Um, very delicious, a bit sickly, so I probably won't eat them all in three days like I did the last one. Probably a good thing. Uh, maybe next time I'll try making something else. 